The kind of skills that creative people inherently bring to the forefront are now starting to be the skills that everybody needs. So the ability to collaborate, the ability to trust your intuition, the ability to see the world through a certain lens, which is a lens of seeing the possibility in things and, being, and wanting to do something about it. My name is Paul Bennett and I am the Chief Creative Officer of IDEO and I am also one of the founders of Palmwood. I think actually one of the most interesting things I have seen again and again in our work is watching our clients or our partners have these emotional revelations in the middle of some kind of experience like the one we're having up there and go, oh my God, this wasn't what I was expecting to feel and suddenly they're feeling it. We've had a lot of tears on these projects, which has been very, very which is in itself a very interesting byproduct. Is an emotional unlock of somebody who suddenly realized in the middle of a moment that we were creating that they were feeling something, not just seeing something. We did a project last summer. We did uh, camps with children, helping unlock creative capacity in, in young people, in tweens and teens. And one of the little girls came to me at the end and she was watching me very, very intently throughout this whole process. And she said to me, uh, what do you do? Is this your job? And I said, sure, this is my job. And she said, so, so what is your job? Do you get paid to do this? And I said, sure, this is how I make money. And she said, so you're like a creative person for a living. And I said, yes. And she said, so what's your job title as a creative director? So we got a call from her mother that night that said, um, my daughter wants to be creative director now. That's her job. And I'm like, amazing. So we bring her to a series of workshops later on in the summer with older people. And she's my creative director. She's a creative director with me. Uh, and she directs everybody and helps their ideas and collaborates with them and does this thing brilliantly. And so now she wants to be creative director. And so she presented to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed and she presented her ideas and she's on the front page of every newspaper in the UAE as like a creative person, right? And so I told this story to everybody and I'm like, that's our deliverable. Thousands of girls, thousands of boys that see this as a thing, that see creativity as real, that see it as a profession, that see it as something that can actually make change, that sees it as something that allows them to map their aspirations onto and do something about the world they, that they're in, not just spectate on it. That to me is what I want Palmwood to do. I wanted to activate people. All the projects that we do are essentially about that. They're about awakening something inside of somebody and letting them see that creativity is not just a thing that creative people do, that A, they have that capacity within them, and that B, that is something that can be applied broadly at a societal level to create change. So all the projects are, all the projects are actually starting to have that as the sort of driver, creative capacity and creative confidence coming out of people. That's what we want this to be about. I remember so clearly when the Guggenheim opened in Bilbao, I went to the, one of the early exhibits and it was a Goya exhibit. And I was, remember walking into the room and it was such a simple thing to do, but the painting that was a Goya painting that was the size of this room, it was vast. And I walked towards it and I remember thinking it was moving. And suddenly I realized that the painting wasn't hung like this. The painting was hung at an angle. And I was actually not walking towards it. I was walking under it. And I remember suddenly realizing that this thing, which I thought was here, was actually here. And I was here. And I remember having this moment thinking, this has transformed my impression of this artist, of this experience, because suddenly I'm interacting with something as, I'm interacting with a painting, but it's not a painting any longer. It suddenly becomes something else. I don't know what it is, but suddenly I'm in this space looking up at this thing, thinking, brilliant. I think this thing needs to, it's, it's sort of state changing in some way, it needs to do that. So I think the role of sort of museum as highly didactic, this is the answer, is dead. This has to be about asking questions. It has to be about inciting debate. It has to be about participation. It can't be static. It has to be in the best possible way, constantly in a state of change.